My name is Eddie Burks, pastor of the Purpose Church, right here in the great city of Kalamazoo, Michigan. Passion. Our hearts change, our minds change, our thoughts. Holy Spirit, fall afresh on all of us in here. In the name of Jesus, move by your power, God, in this place. In the name of Jesus, I pray right now, God, that all of us will be everything that you have called us to be. God, that we will submit our wills to you, God. In the name of Jesus, I pray that a revival will break loose right here in Cape Town. In the name of Jesus, we decree and declare that we're all victorious in you, God. And we give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, come on, come on. Come My passion is to serve God's people. However I can do that, that's what I'm willing to do. My heart is in the community. You know, I spend a lot of time in the church, but I spend more time out in the community, getting to know the people, serving the people out in the neighborhood, compelling men and women, boys and girls, to come into a relationship with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I love the streets. I love evangelizing. I love seeing drug dealers come in off the street and seeing them being discipled and becoming deacons in the Lord's church. I love it. Hello, my name is Billy Lewis. Um, I want to speak a few minutes about uh, someone who has inspired me, um, who has uh, helped me to get through uh, a difficult time in my life. Um, I'm here at KPET uh, in a program, and uh, when I first got here, first two weeks, or I should say the first month, was very difficult for me. Um, then I joined this cooking class for Kingdom Minded Ministries and uh, Pastor Eddie started to come in and minister to us and to the rest of the fellows and um, it was tremendous the, the uplift and uh, the inspiration that he gave us, especially for me being a Christian. Uh, he brought me the word, he brought me the meaning of the word. Uh, he just did so much to, to help me make it through uh, these difficult times at Cape and I owe so much to him. Um, I'm indebted to him and I think he's a wonderful pastor, a very young pastor. Uh, to become a pastor at such a young age is phenomenal. Um, I appreciate him, I admire him, I think he's very anointed, and um, I plan to some, at some point to come back and visit him in the future if, I, if, if, if at all possible. Uh, but Pastor Eddie's a wonderful man, and uh, I, I admire him greatly. Hey, how you doing? This is the Carter family um, <clears throat> here at the Purpose Church. Uh, just giving words of encouragement that um, you guys have really blessed our household from learning, from communing with you, from talking with you on certain subjects. Um, you have really been a blessing to us. Um, the ministry in itself has really propelled us into what God really wants for our lives together as a unit, as a family. Um, not only as a family, but also an individual. Uh, we pray that God will keep on blessing you and keep on propelling you into the purpose in which he has for you. Jesus said, go into the world and make disciples. I love going out into the community, bringing the streets inside the church or inside the four walls and discipling them, teaching them the word of God, teaching them to observe everything in which Jesus commanded us in his word. I'm so compassionate about discipleship, I even wrote a song about it. Said Jesus said, go into the world and make disciples. I'm, I'm just really appreciative of all that the, the Elder Burks and uh, Elder Natasha Burks has, uh, has done for me in my life. They've uh, they showed me um, what it's like to love, you know, um, outside of, a, of just a, a relationship or a man and woman love or a boyfriend and girlfriend love, but of a, a brother and sisterly and, and a Christian love, of what, um, what love looks like. And, um, how to give uh, outside of yourself. So like I said, it's just been a blessing, uh, more than I can really put in words right now. As I stated earlier, my uh, name is Eddie Burke, Senior Pastor of the Purpose Church uh, here in the city of Kalamazoo, Michigan. However, my family and I, we have heard the call of the Lord to transition from Kalamazoo, Michigan to Indianapolis, Indiana. Yep, you heard it. Indianapolis, here we come. Um, it's exciting at the same time. Um, it's a little, you know, saddened as well because we've been in Kalamazoo a long time. Myself, I've been here about 15 years. 
and my wife longer than that, and we've served this community well, some would say, and others probably would not. Uh, but it's sad to uh, leave, you know, where the Lord had to start our ministry at and transition us to Indianapolis, Indiana. However, we're yet excited because we know when the Lord speaks to you and he leads you to a new place, that there's going to be great opportunity. So my wife and I and my family, we love the Lord first and foremost, and we love serving his people. So wherever the Lord will take us, that's where we're willing to go and be obedient to the call of the Lord. Matthew 16, 24 says, If any man wants to follow me, let him first deny himself. I know that the Lord will send you the right person for this assignment. Even if it's not me, we want God to send the right person. So with that being said, I just want to take a moment and pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, we just ask right now that you will send the right person to fill this position in the right timing. The one that you have anointed to go in and bring forth change within this ministry and within that city. In Jesus' name, amen.